Russia continues to face international uh, condemnation after annexing uh, four key occupied regions of Ukraine. That's seven months after the Russian President Putin's invasion, soon after which Ukraine launched a fast-track bid to join NATO alliance. While the next move from NATO is being closely watched by the international community, NATO Secretary General has condemned the annexation. U.S. has imposed sanctions as well as the U.S. President Joe Biden has slammed the move as a contempt of a peaceful nations everywhere, Sneha. Well, Divya, in fact, India has abstained on a draft resolution which was stabled at the UN Security Council by the US and Albania that condemns Russia's illegal referenda. In fact, and this all, of course, involving the annexation of the four key areas of Ukraine. However, uh, Prime Minister Modi has time and again mentioned about how this is not a time for war and this has been communicated to international leaders. Absolutely. So the EU Commission has reiterated that the annex area will always remain part of the sovereign Ukraine. The French president has also pledged to stand by Ukraine in order to deal with the Russian aggression and also help recover its full sovereignty. At a ceremony in Moscow, the president addressed crowds in Moscow with the words together forever and the leaders of four annex regions well, joining well, him in signing well, uh, the decree amid chants of Russia, Russia. That's uh, what we are seeing in the last 24 hours. So a lot of twists and turns now at a time uh, when uh, Putin has in fact also ordered um, uh, you know partial mobilization absolutely the this is something that has been closely watched across the international community